I think one of the things that makes our NICU so special really is the people who work here. We don't just provide intensive care for babies, we provide intensive care for families. My name is Brianna Cunningham. I am a two-time NICU parent. With Brian, it was a really scary situation for us. He tried to come at 22 weeks. We prayed him to 24. The personal rooms at UAMS was wonderful and a godsend because I had a place where I could rest. I had a place to sleep. I had a place to get some food and to try to get my needs met while taking care of him, which was really wonderful. We are the largest single private room NICU in the state of Arkansas, and that's a very important part of our design. And it allows for families to stay in the room uh, with their baby, which is really important for feeding, for breast milk production. We have uh, breast pumps available, so moms who are pumping will be able to use the breast pumps that we have here at the hospital when they come. We have our own milk lab, which is really important for storage of breast milk. The environment allows a family to be a family, even when your baby's on a ventilator and has a lot of medical support, you're able to still be a family here. Our key focuses are quality care, safety for our patients and families, collaboration with other healthcare providers, including our obstetric colleagues, and collaboration with families. There's nobody that knows their baby like the family. And so we listen to what the family has to say. And many times they give us really good information about their baby that some of the rest of us may not have noticed. My name is Brittany Maupin. I'm Joey Maupin. Our twin girls, Harper and Quinn, were born at the UAMS NICU. They were born at 25 weeks. We had a great experience at the UAMS NICU. They basically became our second family, our second home. The doctors were really great in talking to us. They came over and answered all of our questions and really helped me know what to expect. It's inspiring to see when people really do care about what they do and they really do care about the people that they work with and everybody tries to make sure that the care plan is the best for the baby and for the family. We have physical therapists who help with stretching and range of motion and developmental care and there are speech therapy who helps with feeding. We have occupational therapy who is dedicated to helping with positioning and some pre-feeding exercises and other things that we do with our babies still when they're very small. We have discharge coordinators that work on all the things that are necessary to get a baby ready to go home and help prepare the family for that transition. We have specially trained pharmacists who work in our NICU and specially trained respiratory therapists who don't work anywhere else in the hospital. And we have specially trained dietitians as well who only work in the NICU and help us take care of our babies. To see the attention and the care, we had different nurses, certain ones just kind of attached to you. They become family. They do everything for families there that they can because it affects your whole entire family. We have angel eye cameras in every room, and that is something that allows families who aren't able to be present to be able still to see their child under the camera and interact with them that way. And that's an important way for us to involve other members of the family, even when they're not physically present here on campus. The angel eye was the best for me because I traveled for work and I, I couldn't stop working. And so when I'm out of town, I couldn't be at the hospital, just be able to open my phone whenever I wanted to and see them and see how they're doing and the nurses leave notes in there saying how they're doing and it just it's perfect. When I started here at UAMS I saw this beautiful display of the wall of hope and it's pictures of babies that some were 23 weeks and some were 32 weeks but they were pictures years later to show that these babies do grow and so it's just a wall of hope for these other families that are here. The wall of hope was fabulous. There were many days that I just stopped and stared at those pictures and imagined my own kid there. Thankfully for me my kid would fit in one of those pictures because he's doing great. One of our priorities here at UAMS is to ensure that the babies have a safe place to go home to. And so we have developed kind of a care plan that, that uh, transcends the NICU course. So what we do at the very beginning to be protective and then what we continue to do to introduce and provide appropriate developmental therapies. So is a whole team approach. We have a full complement of education, whether it's videos or handwritten documents and one-on-one -on -one teaching with all of our families. We have a lot of even printed education that we provide. 
whole time we were there, the education was phenomenal. So they don't just leave you out to dry. Once you leave the NICU, they're very hands-on with follow-up. It's a roller coaster and it's scary as all get out. And what I would tell people is, whatever you're feeling, it's okay. You take it a moment at a time. You're definitely not alone in the process. And as long as you need, there's always someone there to support. We do know it can be overwhelming um, when you're in the NICU and we want to encourage parents and empower them to be involved in their child's care and help them know the very best way for them to do that. We hope you don't have to come to the NICU, but if you do, we are here to take care of you um, and all of your family members and provide the very best care for your baby so we can get him or her home as quickly and safely as possible.